News in Person County. A father is accused of shooting the man who allegedly killed his son. It happened earlier this month on Dink Ashley Road at the corner of Ed Brooks Road. Anthony Wilson is live now with those breaking details. Anthony, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Barbara. It's a tragedy affecting two families and an investigation that's going to probably involve at least two counties. Now, the family of the man now charged and jailed here in Person County spoke exclusively with me this morning. He was just out of it, going off and stuff. He just said he killed my son. He killed my son. Lawrence Claiborne's talking about the reaction of his son, Kevin Woods, when a truck hit and killed Claiborne's teenage grandson, Jr. this morning. Shortly after it happened at 6.30, the teen's uncle heard... The worst news possible, that my grandnephew was gone. And my brother had been taking the deal. But as far as everything else goes, I'm at a loss for words. I'm just a little confused. Person County investigators tell us, according to information they've received, as Kevin Woods and his son walked down the middle of Dink Ashley Road, the truck hit the teen, and then investigators say Woods shot and killed the truck's driver and stole the truck. Woods' relatives tell me he and the son were walking back to their home for a gas can after their van ran out of fuel. They also say Woods drove the truck to that home after shooting the driver. Now, Woods is charged with second-degree murder and felony larceny of a motor vehicle. While deputies searched the Woods' home, JR's brother Charles Minor told me. He was a good person, man. He was a real good person. He wanted to be an IT guy. Like he wanted to do, he, he was doing, he wanted to do, be positive and like he wanted to help people. He was a people person. Authorities tell us the truck driver Jeffrey McKay was a probation officer from Youngsville and the truck was part of the State Department of Adult Corrections. It's an unusual investigation for Person County deputies. Well, I mean, we have things like that happen, but this is kind of a first. I've been to people struck by cars and I've been to shooting, but I haven't ever had this happen at the same time. Sad situation all around for all the families. It certainly is, and we're working to learn more about exactly what happened, get in touch with the other persons, the other family involved in this situation, and we'll bring you more on the air and online as we get that here on ABC 11 Eyewitness News. John and Barbara. All right, Anthony, thank you.